Hello and welcome. Today, we'll discuss scientists' greatest discoveries on the Grand Canyon. For millions of years, the Grand Canyon has been a natural wonder. It has captivated visitors with its stunning beauty and awe-inspiring size. But beyond its visual splendor, the Grand Canyon holds many secrets about the Earth's history. Scientists have been studying it for decades to uncover these secrets. In this video, we'll explore some of the most exciting discoveries scientists have made about the Grand Canyon. Journey with me through the canyon's rich history and mystery. Do like and subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to turn on notifications to know when we drop new videos. Now, let's move on. The Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon is a natural wonder that has captured the attention of millions. What's remarkable about the Grand Canyon is that it's a testament to the incredible power of nature. It would have taken countless pieces of technology and maybe hundreds of years of excavation to create something like the Grand Canyon. However, nature accomplished it in just a few million years. This natural wonder has left behind geological treasures that continue to captivate scientists and researchers today. Moreover, it will likely do so for many more decades, if not centuries. How big is the Grand Canyon? The size of the Grand Canyon is one of the most impressive and defining characteristics of this natural wonder. It spans over 277 miles, up to 18 miles in width, and plunges to a depth of over a mile. These dimensions make it one of the largest canyons in the world. To put the size of the Grand Canyon into perspective, Imagine standing at the canyon's edge and looking out over the vast expanse. At a specific point along the rim, you can see for over 30 miles in any direction. The canyon's depth is so immense that it can take up to two days to hike to the bottom and back up again. The size of the canyon is a defining characteristic that sets it apart from other canyons worldwide. Its dimensions are remarkable, creating a sense of awe and wonder that draws millions of visitors annually. The Grand Canyon's Scenic View the Grand Canyon is one of the most spectacular natural wonders of the world. The scenic view of the Grand Canyon is truly breathtaking. This is one reason that it is a popular destination for tourists from all over the world. From the canyon's rim, visitors can see the vast expanse of colorful rock formations, deep gorges, and winding rivers below. The colors of the rocks change throughout the day, from pale pink to deep red, depending on the sun's angle. At sunrise and sunset, the colors are incredibly vibrant. The shadows cast by the rocks also help to create a dramatic effect. There are many different viewpoints along the rim of the Grand Canyon. Views from different angles offer a unique perspective of the canyon. The most popular viewpoints include Mather Point, Yavapai Point, and Desert View. The Geology of the Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon is a geological marvel that reflects hundreds of millions of years of geologic time. To fully appreciate the significance of this statement, it's essential to understand the geological history of the Grand Canyon and how it was formed. The Grand Canyon is located in the southwestern United States, in the state of Arizona. It is part of the Colorado Plateau, a massive region of uplifted rock that covers parts of Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. The Colorado Plateau was formed over millions of years through tectonic activity, erosion, and sedimentation. The rocks that make up the Grand Canyon are a testament to the vastness of geological time. They range in age from approximately 250 million years to nearly 2 billion years old. These rocks were formed through various processes including sedimentation, volcanic activity, and tectonic uplift. Over time, they were subject to intense pressure and heat, which caused them to deform and metamorphosize. Do animals live in the Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including both common and rare species. Some of the most iconic animals in the Grand Canyon include the California condor, bighorn sheep, elk, mountain lion, black bear, coyote, and various birds and reptiles. The California condor is one of the most endangered in the Grand Canyon. It is one of the giant flying birds in the world and has a wingspan of up to 9.5 feet. Bighorn sheep are also commonly found in the Grand Canyon. Visitors often see them perched on the cliffs. Elk, also known as wapiti, are common in the northern parts of the Grand Canyon. Mountain lions and black bears are more elusive and often difficult to spot, but they are present. Coyotes are more commonly seen and heard. They are known for their distinctive howling. The Grand Canyon is also home to various birds, including eagles, hawks, and falcons. The reptile population includes lizards, snakes, and turtles. The wildlife in the Grand Canyon is protected, and visitors should always observe from a safe distance and avoid feeding or disturbing the animals. The American History of the Grand Canyon 
The Grand Canyon is an essential site in Native American history, with several tribes that have lived in the area for thousands of years. The canyon and its surroundings have been home to many different tribes, including the Hopi, Navajo, Havasupi, Halupi, and Peyote, among others. These tribes have different languages, cultures, and traditions, but they share a deep connection to the land and a rich history passed down through generations. Visitors to the Grand Canyon can learn about the rich history and culture of these tribes through guided tours and culture events. The Grand Canyon is testament to the enduring connection between Native American tribes and the land. It is also a reminder of the vital role that these tribes have played in shaping the history and culture of the United States. Conservation of the Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon is a critical site for environmental conservation. Efforts are underway to protect its unique ecosystems, natural resources, and wildlife. The park is home to a wide variety of plant and animal species. One of the critical conservation efforts in the Grand Canyon is the preservation of the Colorado River. Another essential conservation effort in the Grand Canyon is managing invasive species, which can disrupt ecosystems and threaten native plant and animal species. The park has implemented programs to control invasive species. Adventure Activities of the Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon offers a wide range of adventure activities for visitors looking for an adrenaline rush or a new experience in nature. Things you can do on the Grand Canyon involve hiking, river rafting, helicopter tours, mule rides, rock climbing, and so on. Hiking Trails on the Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon has a vast network of hiking trails that offer visitors a range of experiences, from short and easy walks to multi-day backpacking trips. The Bright Angel Trail is one of the most popular trails in the Grand Canyon and starts at the South Rim. It is a well-maintained trail that offers stunning views of the canyon and the Colorado River. Hikers can go as far as Indian Garden, a rest area about 4.5 miles down the trail. South Kaibab Trail is another trail of the Grand Canyon. It starts at the South Rim and offers incredible views of the canyon. It is steeper than the Bright Angel Trail. It has no water resources along the way, so hikers need to bring plenty of water. Hikers can go as far as Cedar Ridge, about one and a half miles down the trail. Also found on the Grand Canyon is the North Khabib Trail. It starts at the North Rim and is the only trail that goes to the Colorado River. It is a challenging trail. Hikers should be prepared for steep switchbacks and exposure to the sun. The trail passes stunning waterfalls and leads to the Bright Angel Campground and Phantom Ranch. The Rim Trail also exists on the Grand Canyon. This trail runs along the canyon's edge and offers stunning views of the canyon and the surrounding landscape. It is an easy and flat trail, and visitors can walk as little or as much of it as they like. Tourist Attractions of the Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the United States, drawing millions of visitors worldwide yearly. Many attractions within and around the canyon make it an unforgettable experience for anyone who visits. Examples of tourist attention on the Grand Canyon include Skywalk, Colorado River rafting, hiking trails, scenic overlooks, the Grand Canyon National Park, and so on. The Colorado River and the Grand Canyon the Colorado River is a major river in the southwestern United States. It runs approximately 1,450 miles, 2,330 kilometers, from its headwaters in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado through seven U.S. states, including Arizona. One of the most iconic features of the Colorado River is the Grand Canyon. The river carved the Grand Canyon over millions of years ago. The river is also an essential source of water and hydroelectric power for the region. Before we proceed, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, comment on topics you'd like us to cover below. By now, you must have learned about the great history of the Grand Canyon. So let's move into the mystery that surrounds this gigantic structure. The Great Unconformity The Great Unconformity is a geological phenomenon that has perplexed experts for decades. It refers to an inexplicable gap in the geological records of various parts of the world. It is characterized by a discontinuity in the rock layers, ranging from 100 million to 1 billion years in age, which separates the old and the new geological eras. This remarkable geological feature can be observed in diverse regions of the world. The Grand Canyon is one of the places this mystery exists. It is also considered one of the deepest mysteries in geology. The Great Unconformity has become a significant interest for geologists worldwide due to its strange nature. Although its origin is yet to be fully understood, some theories suggest that it may have been caused by periods of tectonic activity or glaciation that led to erosion and sedimentation of the rocks. However, the exact cause of this striking geological abnormality remains unknown. Apart from the Grand Canyon, the Great Unconformity can also be observed in various other geological formations across the globe. 
This suggests that this phenomenon is not a random occurrence, but a widespread and significant geological event. Its global presence poses a challenge for scientists and geologists to understand its origin and implications fully. The Ozark Plateau has mysterious gaps too? The Ozark Plateau is a fascinating geological region spanning several U.S. states, including Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Kansas. The Ozark Plateau also possesses a gap similar to the Grand Canyon. This area is characterized by a distinct gap between two layers of rock, a layer of granite that is estimated to be 1.4 billion years old, and a layer of sandstone that is thought to be around 500 million years old. What is particularly remarkable about the Ozark Plateau is that almost 1 billion years separating these two rock layers seem to be completely missing. It's as if the sandstone layer sits atop of the granite layer without evidence of the intervening period. This geological oddity has long puzzled scientists and geologists who have spent years trying to unravel the mysteries of the Ozark Plateau. How do scientists know of these ages? To determine the ages of these rocks, geologists use a range of tools and techniques. One of the most common methods is radiometric dating. The dating is based on the principle that certain rock materials contain tiny amounts of radioactive isotopes. These isotopes decay over time at a predictable rate. This allows scientists to estimate the age of the rock based on the part of the radioactive material that remains. In the case of the Ozark Plateau, one of the most commonly used minerals for radiometric dating is zircon. Zircon is a mineral that typically crystallizes when the rock is still molten, such as when it is part of magma. By analyzing the amount of radioactive isotopes in the zircon crystals, scientists can estimate the age of the rock layer that contains them. Do Rodinia and Pangaea have hands in these? One possible factor contributing to the mysterious Great Unconformity is the breakup of the supercontinent Rodinia. The breaking occurred around 750 million years ago. Pangaea, the more well-known supercontinent, didn't exist until around 400 million years after Rodinia began to rift apart. However, many scholars believe Rodinia's breakup alone cannot fully explain the Great Unconformity. During the billion years that followed Rodinia's breakup, many geological events likely took place that could have contributed to the missing geological record. Unraveling the Earth's complex history is a task that requires geologists to ask the right questions and methodically analyze rock samples. The sedimentary layers in the Grand Canyon provide a unique window into the distant past. This has helped preserve a record of events over millions of years. Despite a century of scientific inquiry, the Great Unconformity remained an enigma. Geologists continue to investigate this geological anomaly, looking for clues that could shed light on the Earth's turbulent past. With each discovery, our understanding of the planet's dramatic history grows more transparent. How do scientists want to solve this mystery? The discovery of a massive geological anomaly was made possible through advanced technology, and this same technology will likely be instrumental in solving the mystery. In a recent study published in 2021, scientists used helium dating to investigate rock samples from the Grand Canyon. Helium is produced through the radioactive decay of uranium, and as an inert gas, it doesn't interact chemically with other elements in the rock. Over time, helium tends to leak out of the rock's crystalline structure, especially when the rock is still in its molten state. This allows the atoms in the matrix to move freely. However, if helium is formed from radioactive decay after the rock is cooled, there's no way for it to escape. It remains trapped within the matrix. By measuring the amount of helium present in the rock, scientists can determine its age. This innovative technique has the potential to unlock many mysteries that have remained unsolved for decades. With further research and exploration, we can expand our knowledge of the planet's past and better understand the forces that shape our world. We have come to the end of the video. We hope you have learned something new today. Like and subscribe to our channel. Also, drop comments about the video below. Bye for now.